there are differences and it has more not so much to do with the, the design process. I think the design process is very similar, but the whole aspect of sustainability, uh, the restrictions or the requirements in Germany are much higher. And uh, we sometimes, for instance, joke there, there it's written in law that you literally, energy conservation-wise, already have to have a lead silver, lead gold uh, equivalent building. Um, and so that, of course, influenced the the uh, design of the building, but I think uh, at the same time it, it also uh, really is part of uh, any requirement for architecture. You are given a brief, you have to work with zoning regulations. Uh, I was always surprised uh, to, to think that bureaucracy-wise there would be a difference, but it, you have the same <laughs> in America as well as in, in, in Germany. Uh, they're slightly different in terms of just the procedures, but we take on every of, of the project in a very similar way, uh, trying to uh, maximize both the, uh, the aesthetic result but also the economic result. Uh, I mean, the, the parameters are all very, very similar. Um, Building-wise, I think uh, also a lot of has changed since I left Germany in terms of how things are being built. Uh, the aspect of craftsmanship, uh, I think, has suffered. At the same time, you still find excellent craftsmen there. Um, and uh, the biggest difference is actually more the, the uh, responsibility of the architect in Germany versus in the U.S. Uh, because there is a clear distinction here in the U.S. that the uh, planner designer does the planning and the quality control, but in, in Germany you quite often uh, are also the construction manager and responsible for that. And that's quite different uh, as, a, as a role uh, we sometimes play here in the U.S. as well but it is more of an exception. Usually here projects are done with a general contractor and he takes on the responsibility. There it's quite often still the case that you bid everything out to the various trades and you are the organizer and scheduler and that's a, a heavily time intensive undertaking. I don't know how to produce like a German architect because that's not how I was educated. Uh, academically um, or professionally for that matter um, so when I work in Germany I work like an American architect and there are certain things I think that um, are we are more specific in than what I see my colleagues do in, in uh, Germany or in Europe and in reverse, there is much greater sense of um, <laughs> there's very different standard uh, to which architects are being held. In people embrace much more readily the response, the technical responsibility an architect has. Does that produce better architecture? Perhaps not. Uh, I think by and large. The architecture and building that is produced in Germany and, for that matter, in Western Europe, um, I think is of a greater is of greater quality. Uh, there's no question about it. People, I mean, Europe is far advanced when it comes to issues of sustainability and environmental conscience. Um, I think there is uh, people by and large are more educated about matters of construction and that's not just architects but I think it's the clients, the consumers um, and are more rigorously demanding of, of a higher standard. So uh, I think a big difference to uh, Germany is that uh, Americans are more trusting in a way that it, it's easier to start your own uh, business that they don't ask for like how many buildings have you done before before they yeah uh, have the trust that you are able and so I 
like that openness and uh, sense of trust and um, the construction methods here are in general uh, different than in Germany that uh, like I do mostly small scale projects and so in Germany there isn't really wood frame construction and so in that regard it's just the means of building are different. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that that leads to, in a way, to really necessarily different architecture, because you can achieve the same with different uh, technologies. There is a big difference between working in Germany and working in, in the US. Um, there is not one particular area which is different, um, but there are like many aspects of the work which are different. Uh, some of them are similar. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, the interesting part is that on the implementation end, um, it feels very different. You have, uh, in, in Germany, everything is, uh, is very strictly regulated. In uh, New York, um, practically anybody could become a GC, a general contractor, uh, get the paperwork done. So it's a lot more, um, uh, it, it puts a lot more uh, burden on the architect to actually find um, uh, proper contractors and to scan them and to, um, to see if their work actually uh, suits the project. Um, it's, um, it's much more uh, formalized in Germany. There's uh, the requirements to become contractors, to become a carpenter, to become a tradesperson um, are much tougher. Uh, people are much better trained, uh, which makes it much easier uh, at the construction site uh, to actually get messages across. Um, on the administrative end, uh, it is very similar. We have, uh, you know, we have a big um, administrative body here, uh, as much as uh, back in Berlin. So finding your way through the administrative jungle is uh, is kind of similar. I think you have to compare um, certain typologies with each other. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say we are taking housing from social housing to housing. Right? Um, there, just by by nature how that topic is taken on from officials from the government in these different countries. I would say that, that Germany, Austria, Switzerland, this entire German-speaking area has a great advantage because politically it is just pushed as something which is very important. Um, here, which you know, New York is always hard to compare, it's anyway his, his own case and, and you know it's it's, it's in the United States, but it's really its own city. Um, it's, it's really lacking knowledge there. Um, so when you're working in that field, um, you would clearly see the difference. You would clearly see the difference on a professional technology level, um, but also on a um, social um, level, um, yes. In other um, areas, you know, Skyrise is one example which we always call out. Of course, there, there is more experience here. And I think it's a very different building technology which is implemented than, than in Europe. You can create the same setup um, which I'm used to in, in Europe, um, working here. Um, but the um, environment here is really dictating um, different methods. And, and that's very New York specific. So there is the demand um, for speed, um, there is your the individual as client, um, which which has very different demands, right? Um, and then there is um, the craftsmanship, which um, has a very different background. So these these components kind of stimulate, of course, our work and and its output. And I think that's very visible, um, you know, looking at buildings here. Germans are very obsessed with perfection. And you know, sort of technology, and you know, for, for ours, I think that Germans they think of good architecture if it doesn't leak, and Americans think of good architecture if it leaks. You know, so like they, you know, there's sort of the difference that from for the kind of the the, the, um, the American side of me, you know, 
want to build a colleague to some degree, it can't be perfect, and it's more about the idea than, than it, you know, the, the, the actual, even realization. But then I, I think journalists think the opposite. You know, the idea is not important. It's more the thing has to, you know, has to be solid and has to be environmentally kind of, you know, energy saving, this, that, and the other. Um, and uh, then it's a great building, and it looks good, but the idea doesn't play so much of a role the, con- the architecture concept is really so strong. And I think it's still like that. Um, which I think, in a certain way, we haven't had much luck getting projects in Germany. Actually, not <laughs> over the years, you know, sort of kept trying, and, uh, but it's, um, uh, I don't quite know, you know, this, what the reasons are, but, but um, uh, maybe from that point of view, I, I probably should feel more like an American architect, but because it just doesn't happen in Germany. <laughs> I would think, I mean, not to um, bring up these cliches, but I do feel that maybe like society, uh, also the architecture profession is a little more polarized here, right? That there's, uh, you know, these very, very large firms, much larger than anything you would find in, uh, in Germany. Perhaps and then more smaller firms that do you know, on our scale, but do this high design work, and you find very few of this kind of architectural middle class, 20, 20 person offices that do uh, maybe not the highest in design work, but very very solid good architecture, and it's. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, just think it's different. I mean, there are advantages to both models. Right? Uh, I think maybe the, the discourse, the theoretical discourse, is, uh, happens more in these smaller uh, offices here that have a closer mm-hmm. attachment to academia. Mm-hmm. But there's that, uh, I feel like the, the sort of intermediate scale of uh, offices, maybe 15 to 40 people that just do great work. I mean, they're obviously they are, they are around, but just many more in, you know, in Germany. Mm-hmm. So that's just for observation, I think, a, a different way in which mm-hmm. the prof- profession is structured. There is a significant difference uh, between the architecture culture in Germany and in the United States. Um, you just have to look at the at uh, competitions, right? the way new work gets actually designed and uh, how new work gets picked. Uh, in the United States, it's mostly, you know, an architect gets uh, hired by a developer or by an owner. It's usually a freehand uh, decision, um, even if it's a large-scale project. Um, in Germany, and that is true also for, uh, for the rest of Europe, um, you have to decide from a certain uh, construction budget on, um, projects have to be decided uh, by a competition. So there's a much different culture about um, how um, architecture is in the public because all these uh, competitions are at one point public competitions because they get exhibited uh, so the public is invited to actually see the results and to have opinions. The press is, uh, is discussing that uh, uh, very widely. Um, so it is much more uh, part of the um, cultural fabric of um, of Germany. So the question, of course, is: uh, Does this also produce a better outcome in architecture? Does this produce better architecture to have uh, to have a competition and to pick out uh, out of a field of uh, hundred entries? And um, I have to say, the the quality of uh, architecture in Germany in general uh, is very high. And uh, if I may add that, uh, also the the construction implementation is also quite uh, quite different. Um, I was surprised, um, you know, in, in to see projects in Berlin, social housing projects in Berlin, being implemented to the T. There is no uh, sloppy detail. It's very clean, very well implemented. And uh, if you look at the same type of, um, of construction in New York City, it's usually very sloppy and uh, details are not worked out. And um, So even high-end uh, residential projects sometimes don't have the implementation quality of a social housing project in Berlin, for example. 
and I'm talking about recent uh, recent projects, um, not the ones in the 60s and 70s, obviously.